income tax kcsc 2020 question number 18 paper 2 the table below shows the income tax rates for a certain year monthly taxable income in kenya shillings then the tax rates are given in percentage in each shilling so the table is given there uh, the bands are given so part a of the question during the year moraz monthly income was as follows basic salary 40000 shillings house allowance 11090 commuter allowance 7000 calculate are you supposed to calculate one moraz total monthly taxable income one mark two the total income tax charged on moraz monthly income four marks and then part b moraz net monthly tax was 10750 and 80 cents determine the monthly tax relief allowed one mark so a proposal that is part c a proposal to expand the size of the first income tax band by 50% while retaining the size of the next three bands was made the tax rates would remain as before in each band using the proposal determine one the tax mora would pay in the first band one mark then part two the tax mora would pay in the last band so those are the questions so let's go to the first part start from the first is a part a so for part a you're supposed to uh, calculate mora's total monthly taxable income so to get the taxable income so taxable income is given by basic salary you get basic salary plus all the taxable allowances all the taxable allowances so in this case we shall just take uh, to given there basic salary is 40000 So we have 40000 then plus we add all the allowances so we have house allowance we have house allowance of 11090 plus 7000 so when you add that so when you add that you get 58090 so this will give 58000 and 90 so that is the monthly taxable income then part 2 the total income tax charged on moraz monthly income total income tax so whatever we have obtained in part 1 that is what you're going to tax using this table using these bands here so we are taxing 58090 using the table the table already is in monthly income in cash shillings per month so we're not going to change anything 58090 you're going to use it the way it is so we go to the first band the first band the size of the first band uh, first band we have um, 11180 so from 1 to 11180 the size of that band will therefore be 11180 so 11180 so 11180 times tax in that band is 10% so we multiply by 10% that will give will give the tax of 1118 that is what you get we go to the second band because the amount is 58000 so we have to go to the other bands so the second band so the size of the second band this is how we get the size of the second band uh, by simply taking 21 714 subtract 11 80 that is how you get the size of the second band and this will give uh, this will give when you subtract you'll get 
10, 5, 34. So that is the size of the second band. 10, 5, 34 times uh, the tax is a 15%. Tax rate is 15%. So 15 over 100. And this will give a tax of, you multiply that, you get a tax of 15.80 and 10 cents. 15.80 and 10 cents. We go to the third band. Third band. The size of the third band is uh, 32. 248. Subtract 21. 714. Like that. So again, that will give us the same amount in that band 10 534 so we have 10 534 times the percentage tax that band will be 20 percent and this will give a tax of you get a tax of is 20 percent when you multiply that you will get a tax of 2106 2106 and 80 cents so you can add uh, whatever already we have taxed uh, so the first slab we have 11 on 80 plus 10534 plus 10534 so we still far we still far as far as this amount is concerned so that means when you get the difference so far you've taxed these and you need to tax the whole of these so we need to go to the next band still we can proceed to the next band. The next band, the size is uh, 42, 782, subtract 32, 248, 248. Uh, the amount is still the same. The amount in that band will still be 10, 534 times 25% work out that you get a tax of that one will give a tax of 26 33 26 33 and 50 cents so now uh, the remaining band is the last band so the all the remaining amount will now go to the last band so we need to add everything before we proceed so we need to add everything that is here. So we add everything here. So we take this one plus this plus this plus this. And then we get the remaining amount. So I would like to add everything. Let me add everything. So the whole of these 11,180 plus 10,534 by 3. When you add everything there, you will get so everything here will give uh, 42,782, 42,782 shillings. So that is the amount that we have already taxed. And remember, we need to get to tax the whole of this amount. So the remaining amount, so the remaining, uh, remaining, we are going to get it by taking um, 58,090, subtract, 42 782 this is the amount that will go to the last band and this will be 15 308 15 308 so 15 308 is what will go to the last band so 15 308 and the taxation rate in the last band is 30 percent it is 30 percent so we get the total tax now. So when you multiply that, you get 45.92. 45.92 and 40 cents. So now we have taxed everything, the whole of this amount, 58,090. We have taxed, if you add everything here, you will get 58,090. 
and then the whole of this is a tax so when we add when we add everything now here we add everything we will get gross tax so add everything yeah so 11 118 plus 15 80 and 10 cents plus 2106 and 80 plus 26 33 and 50 cents plus 45 92 and 40 cents uh, this is what you're going to get so when you add everything you will get 12,000 12,000 and 30 and 80 cents so that is the gross tax and uh, we require to get the total income tax total income tax so in this question we not yet uh, required to get the net tax uh, because we don't have the relief given here so if you are required to get the net tax we would have taken the gross tax then subtract the relief that will give us the net tax but for this question the total income tax we refer to the gross tax so that is the tax so part b mora's net monthly tax was 10 750 and 80 cents determine the monthly tax relief allowed so how do we get um, the monthly tax relief this is what you're going to use remember that net tax net tax is obtained by taking just i said that before gross tax subtract the reliefs that is how we get it therefore if we require to get the relief we shall therefore need to take the gross tax gross tax then subtract the net tax the net tax so we have the gross tax the gross tax is um, given we calculated it in the first part it is 12,030 and 80 cents then we subtract the net tax the net tax is given here as 10 750 and 80 cents and this will give when you subtract that uh, this is what you're going to get you get 1280 Ken shillings 1280 so that is uh, part b we go to the last part uh, the last part a proposal to expand the size of the first income tax band by 50 percent while retaining the size of the net of the next three bands was made the tax rates would remain as before in each band using the proposal calculate one the tax mora would pay in the first band in the first band so given that in the first band uh, the income was increased the income tax band was increased by 50 percent by 50 percent so if you go to the first band so if you go to the first band the amount in the first band is 11 180 11 180 that is the amount the taxable amount in the first band so that one is to be increased by 50 percent that is to be increased by 50 percent and therefore we will require to get uh, 150 percent of that because initially we assume it was 100 percent then after an increase of 50 percent the new one will be 150 percent that is 150 percent which is 150 over 100 times the amount in that band the amount in that band which is 11 180 11 180 so the new amount will therefore be 16 770 16 16 770 16 700 so that is the amount so we require to get the the tax so that is the amount that is the amount 
after the increase. So for us to get the tax now, we shall get the taxation in that band is 10%. So now we'll have a tax is 10% multiplied by the amount, the new amount in that band after increase, which is 16,770. And the tax in that band will therefore be 1677 shillings. That is how you work out that. Then part two, the tax morale would pay in the last tax band. The tax morale would pay in the last tax band. So we already have um, the taxable income because we require to get the tax morale would pay. We have um, the taxable income, which is 58. It is here in the first part. It is 58. It is 58,090. That is the total taxable income. Why do you need that? Because uh, you need to use that amount so that you can know the exact amount, taxable amount that will go to the last band. We need to get that amount uh, of money that is going to be taxed in the last band, whatever we are going to tax by 30%. So to do that, uh, we will simply work with the total taxable income that is uh, 58, 58,090, 58,090, that is the total. Then we subtract uh, the taxable amounts in all the other bands and when we subtract that, we'll be left with the taxable amount in the last band. So like the first, the income in the first band is um, after now the increase. After the increase, we are going to work, we are not going to work with 11,180. That was the initial amount. So after the increase, the amount in the first band, that is the taxable amount, was 16,770. Then... In the second band, uh, it was not affected. The second band was not affected. The second band not affected. Uh, it will remain to be this one. This is the taxable amount in the second band, the third band, and the fourth band. See that? So we are going to just work with these three. So the only amount that was affected after the increase was the first band. So the other bands will remain the same. So this one. 10, 5, 34, 10, 5, 34, 10, 5, 34. So we are going to add that. So three times. 10, 5, 34 plus 10, 5, 34 plus 10, 5, 34. So we add 10, 5, 34 times 3. Now when we do that, you'll notice now we will be left with the amount that will go to the last band. So we have, we have taken the total taxable income, then subtracted what taxable income is to be taxed in the first band, then in the second band, in the third band, in the fourth band. So when we subtract these, we'll be left with the amount that will be taxed in the last band. So work out these and um, using a calculator, you will get 58,090 subtract, just put brackets in a calculator, 16,770 plus that times 3, you get 9718. 97.18. So this is the amount that will be taxed in the last band. Then to get the tax in the last band, remember the tax band, um, the taxation there is 30%. So we simply subject this one to, to 30% tax. So 9718 times 30%. And this will give a tax of 29, 15, and 40 cents. So that is how you're supposed to solve that question.